hey y'all and welcome to another video as y'all can tell by the title we're gonna do a little chit chat get ready with me today and y'all are about to help me get ready for my date tonight i'm going to a rooftop dinner with my boot thing so we have some things to do we have to get ready because i'm not about to go out looking like this so we're gonna be doing my hair makeup nails we're gonna pick out my outfit shoes accessories literally everything from step one to step 347 so make sure y'all stay tuned comment down below all the options you want to pick and everything so y'all can help me pick up my outfit and I wish this was live but obviously I'll have picked up my outfit by the time y'all see this but just go along with it for fun so basically today I'm about to go ahead and get dressed I'm gonna take a shower and then we're gonna get into the hair and makeup and everything but before we do that I did want to go ahead and pick out my outfit so that I can tailor my hair my nails my accessories to that outfit because I feel like that's a good way to make sure everything flows because certain hairstyles only look good with certain outfits if you know what I'm saying so that's what we're about to do right now which leads me to the sponsor of today's video thank you so much to Lulu for sponsoring today's video and sending me over a bunch of dresses and other items that I can pick out for my date tonight I'm gonna show y'all everything that they sent over and I'll also make sure to link everything down below so y'all can shop as well because they had a ton a ton of dresses y'all like so much dress up stuff y'all always ask me for like birthday recommendations or like dressed up outfit recommendations so lulu's is definitely your place to go for all those types of things as well as just like casual tanks and pants and everything so i'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below but let me go ahead and show y'all stuff i'm about to hang it up real quick and then we're gonna pick out my outfit don't mind my appearance right now like i just feel so rough and raggedy i cannot wait to glow up at the end of this video but so let me go ahead and show y'all the products that i got from lulu's i did order some like vacation items as well because i am going on vacation soon so this is going to be a mix of like dress up items and like casual stuff but like i said lulu's has it all so make sure y'all check them out but first off i have these really really loose simple pants so they're like tan ribbed super cute like i said this is one of the more casual pieces that i got for my little beach vacation that's coming up so this is the first item that's obviously not going to be worn tonight but i can't wait to wear it on the beach when i'm chilling and then i have this really really cute green dress so as y'all can see i don't know if you can really tell what's happening here but it's kind of like a little halter top combined with the little skirt on the bottom so it is one full dress but it opens on the side in the back which is so cute i'll show y'all how it looks on right there but literally i'm in love with this dress so this is definitely an option for tonight i'll try it on and show y'all how it fits and then i also got this little tank here which is a little green rib tank this is more of a casual vibe i don't think this is for tonight um, but it's a little racerback tank top, which is so cute as well. So I can't wait to wear that. And then we have a really cute white little dress. I think it's like an asymmetrical like shoulder dress because this one is really long. So I feel like I'll show y'all how the how it looks on the model and how it looks on me. So y'all can get the full picture. But this one is a shorter one. But I think for tonight, I'm going for like the longer maxi dress vibe. So let's see what else we got over here. And I also have this LBD, you know, a little black dress. So this one is an off the shoulder black dress that kind of really hugs your figure as you can see so this can also definitely be an option for tonight i really love the length of this one i'll show y'all right here but it goes down a little past my knees which is the goal i don't want to be too short for tonight here's another little casual vacation item this one is probably my favorite because look how cute this is it's like a little cover-up for when you go to the beach or even just like a little shirt so you would definitely wear something underneath because it's like open on the sides but i just love the little shirt and i also have this really cute black button up super simple y'all know i love button ups you can wear them in all kinds of different ways i could even pair this with pants or a little black skirt for tonight wouldn't go for an all black look but i feel like this is more professional than like dressed up so i might not wear this but it's always a good option to have a little black and white button up in there in case you need it and then we have this little cute tank turtleneck type shirt so as you can see it has the turtleneck up here but it is like a little tank top so this one's cute as well i don't think this is the vibe for tonight i really have my eyes set on wearing a dress and then i also have these drawstring pant cargos so as you can see they're super loose tan cargos i could dress this up with like a white shirt and heels i feel like that could be a vibe but i don't know how much i want to wear pants tonight so these are super cute though i'll definitely be wearing these in the future so y'all can see how i can style them but i got them in a size large i did size up i'll make sure to put the sizes down below by the links because i realized i haven't been saying it but this is the next item and these are one of my favorite items from the whole haul look at these pants y'all these are so bomb so i don't know if y'all can tell but they are pleated 
pants and I love pleats and as you can see they're just super loose and airy you can definitely dress these up or down I don't know what shoes I would wear with this maybe white heels would be cute or white sandals so this is definitely an option as well if I wanted to go for pants tonight and lastly we have this little asymmetrical dress it's like a long white dress that has an open slit right here on the side on the body which is so cute I'll make sure to try this on so y'all can see like the full effect but this is definitely an option as well for tonight so I'm very excited with my options you know I have three main dress options here so we have this white one this green one and we also have the off the shoulder black dress which could be super cute as well and those are the three that I probably would want to wear to the rooftop that the other items are literally perfect for my upcoming vacation so y'all would definitely see more of those like I said I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below but make sure y'all comment which items y'all think I should wear tonight and what do you think I should pair it with so I can get some ideas for next time but I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower and I'm gonna see y'all when I'm out and looking less crazy all right y'all I am out of the shower clean shaved everything and I am ready to start getting dressed while I was in the shower I was thinking about the outfits that I wanted to wear and I'm really leaning towards the green or the white dress but the only issue with me is that I only have white heels and I don't want to wear all white looking like a bride. So I think I'm going to go for the green dress. It's very cute. It's kind of casual but can be dressed up with the heels and everything. So I feel like that's the perfect vibe for tonight because I don't want to be too dressy but I also don't want to be casual either. But I realized I forgot to show y'all the sandals and the heels that I got from Lulu's. I basically have all the shoes that I needed here for the outfit. White sandals which is perfect. They're super simple just like open toe sandals. So I can definitely wear these with the green dress if I wanted to go for sandals but I'm really in love with the heels that I got as well so this might be what I wear let me show y'all heels I love the detailing on these so they're basically like really short kitten heels literally the only heels I know how to walk in don't judge me please I don't have good balance yet walking in heels okay so I have the little small kitten heel but it has this super cute detailing in the front where your big toe can go and then your other toe so it's kind of like this abstract detailing so I think these are really really cute and I feel like these would be cute with the green dress and a white bag so that's the look I'm going for hopefully when we put it all on it'll look cute like it does in my head but of course we'll have to see so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting dressed we'll do my nails at the end we have to match the nails to the green dress and the green and white aesthetic y'all know how we got to do I do have a couple of press-ons here that we can choose from but before that I'm trying to figure out a hairstyle I feel like that dress would be cute with a long straight ponytail and luckily I do have a ponytail from the beauty supply store that I can use so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I'm trying to think if there's any other hairstyle that might be easier to do I'm gonna go for a long extendo ponytail and I'll show you all how I do this as well for the sake of not looking crazy on camera let's do hair first so I'm basically just gonna go ahead and take this little bun down and brush out my hair really quick because I did not brush it out in the shower. Hey, I don't call things for resale, don't do iCloud, don't do email. Alright, now that this is brushed out, I don't know why this just turned into a whole ponytail tutorial, but y'all do be asking me how I do my hairstyle. So now I'm about to go ahead and use my big ol' gel container and I'm just gonna gel my hair back. And you know, just make it as sleek as possible with this little hairstyle. So I'm gonna use my gel and I'm going to use this little brush. I'm just gonna leave a little bit out here so we can do a little sideburn action. Um, little swirlies over here when we do our ponytail. This eco style gel, it does have like water in it. Um, so it lifts pretty easily and like comes apart pretty easily. So I really need to get some better gel, but this is all I have for now. So you got to make sure to lay it down properly. And if you're watching this, this is your sign to go ahead and get dressed up and go on a little rooftop date. Because you got to romanticize your life. You got to make things super cute. Even if it's just like a regular little dinner. Midweek date. Even if you're going by yourself or just going with your friends. I feel like it'll still be a good time. And y'all can all get dressed up and take pictures and make memories. And it'll be super, super cute. And as you can see, I'm mostly slicked back. I'm just going to go over it one more time to make sure all the hairs are going in the same direction. And it's smooth. I'm going to go ahead and tie it. I use double rubber bands and then I go around like three times to make it really, really tight. Whew. My arms are tired, oh my gosh. Y'all know the struggle. So we can go ahead and lay this down. So let me get my edge brush. I just used this little pink beauty supply store edge brush. So I'm just gonna put some gel on it and start laying these down. Girl, they're not even baby hairs at this point. Those are toddler hairs. Back when Ricky was doing up Teasdale, I was doing dinner with TZ. I didn't trust no one, so I got lying because got too greasy. Me cold, never moved me, I'm gonna go ahead and 
lay it down with my little scarf and then we're gonna do the ponytail parts so here we go next um let's go ahead and do this little braid so basically y'all what you do with your braid i mean what you do with your hair down here is you just braid it into a small tight braid however small you can get it and you're just gonna wrap the other hair around it it's super simple super easy you just have to be very careful when you're like wrapping the hair and bobby pinning it so it doesn't come loose later and your whole ponytail falls off and the braid doesn't have to be cute it doesn't have to be perfect it can actually be very rough it don't even gotta be no good braid as long as the hair is tucked away so it won't come through your actual ponytail you should be good to go so now we're gonna actually wrap this hair and this is the part that i hate the most but the ending result is very cute so we're gonna go ahead and do this and i'm gonna just zoom through it so y'all don't have to go through the struggles with me but i got all my bobby pins here and i'm just gonna start wrapping it here's the hair I'm gonna go ahead and start the bobby pinning process and you're just gonna put it make sure this one is secure because if this one comes on loose baby it is not gonna be looking good this is not supposed to be a tutorial i don't know why i just walked y'all through it but that's pretty much all that happens and you just bobby pin every so often so everything stays in place and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna just go ahead and finish this and i'll see y'all when i'm done As y'all can see, we got our ponytail on. She's stiff right here, but it don't matter because it's gonna be like this all night. And this is how the hair turned out. Hair is finally done, and now we can go ahead and transition into makeup. So I think I'm just gonna go for a natural face. I literally don't know how to do anything else, so I don't know why I was acting like I was just gonna do like some green eyeshadow look or something to match the dress, but either way i think it'll still be really cute i have a whole palette it doesn't even have green on it so i don't know i don't know how to do much y'all i really want to get into makeup so especially if y'all have any good makeup recommendations for me i'm looking for a new concealer and a new foundation because right now i'm using all drugstore products and i feel like i want to get into something more but i'm gonna just go ahead and prime my face real quick with this little drugstore primer i literally get all my makeup from cvs y'all and i want to do better i just have no clue what my shade is and anything or what product to even try so if y'all have any recommendations for me please leave them down below because i'd be struggling and i want my makeup to look like good quality and everything so just let me know and i barely use any foundation like it doesn't even make a difference on my face honestly but it does make things look a little more smooth and a little more flat but definitely leave me some recommendations because right now I'm just so basic. So first layer of foundation has been put on. Now I'm going to go in with LA Pro Girl Concealer. LA Girl Pro Conceal. But let me just tell y'all what's been going on in my life. Because I feel like we need to catch up a little bit. Because I'm definitely not as active as I need to be and want to be so bad on my YouTube channel. I'm active more on Instagram. Um... And then YouTube and then TikTok. Like, I have not posted a good TikTok video in a while. I think I'm going to film this. I think I'm going to film some TikToks after I get dressed um, before I go. Because I definitely need to do some styling ones. I think it'll be fun to be all dressed up and like try to do some styling. So I think I'm going to do that. But it's just been like so hard to make content on top of my internship. I literally work a full-time job, nine to five, but we technically work more than that. So even like after work, I'd be having stuff to do for work. So it's like, when do I have time to do content other than on the weekends? And then when I do do content on the weekends, it's for sponsors. So like every video has been sponsored and I really wanna do more organic content and go back to my original styling videos and everything. So be on the lookout cause I'm going to end my internship very soon. And I have a month before school starts. So I'll be able to, you know, make a bunch of content and really focus on that before I have to split my time again. Which is exciting. We are going back to school. Let me turn this down because it's looking like I am like, because <laughs> it's looking like I am just white. So I'm just um trying to figure out everything to do with school, content, work. Y'all know how it be. I do those vlogs all the time and y'all see how busy it is. But the real ones know that i love y'all and i'm coming back more content on the way especially school related content i can't wait to go get school related content like moving into my new dorm 
college vlogs, class scheduling, all that stuff is gonna be very fun. By the way, y'all, I have no clue what I'm doing when I contour. I just kind of go with it, you know? And I don't contour my nose even though I want to learn because I feel like it would add a lot more dimension to my makeup. But like I was saying, I'm very excited to go back to school. Well, kind of. I don't really want to go back, but you know, we have to. So I will see the good in going back, if you know what I'm saying. I get to see my friends again, get to live on my own, get to decorate my dorm, all that types of stuff. Another thing is how am I going to get all these clothes and shoes to fit in that small dorm room? I have no clue, but that's definitely something I'm going to document because it'll definitely be an experience. I've definitely seen some hacks on TikTok that you can like save space with, like those different hangers so that like fold down and like hang all sorts of ways. So it's going to be fun trying to figure out how to get everything there and stay there and continue to do what I normally do. Um, so it's going to be an experience, but I am excited. We start on my birthday, which is September 20th. I'll probably be moving in the weekend before that week. Um, so I'll probably leave here around the 16th if all goes according to plan. Y'all know the things are getting a little bit worse. The cases are rising a little bit. So that's kind of an issue, but I hopefully everything will be fine. But if we need to go on another lockdown, baby, I don't mind. Um, whatever it will take to keep us safe and you know just keep everybody healthy we'll see how that goes but for now the plan is to go to school in September and I'm supposed to hear back about housing on Friday which is very nerve-wracking because me and my bestie at Stanford applied to live together and so hopefully everything works out and then I'm going on two vacations before I go back to school which is very fun and exciting because I haven't really been anywhere else this summer except for Dubai, which is crazy. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to like downplay it, but I'm just saying like I haven't been on that many trips this summer. But I definitely have some planned for when I get off work and it's going to be so fun. Y'all know I'll do prepare and pack with me's and I'll do vlogs because y'all loved my last travel vlog. So I think it'll be really, really fun. So I'm looking forward to like the end of the summer coming around, all my trips coming around and then moving back to school. So we have a lot going on in the next few months and I'm very excited and grateful for everything that's been happening lately. So I'm excited for y'all to see upcoming content and my brow pencil is running out so I don't know how much brows will get done today. My camera died but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these brows really quick and then we're gonna move on to blush which is my favorite part of doing makeup is putting on blush because it just adds so much color to your face and it makes you look more alive so I love a good br blush and I do put blush on my nose over here. I be putting a lot of blush y'all because it doesn't last long, like I said, because this is not a great blush. Now we can do lip and lashes. So let's go ahead and do this lip really quick. I think I'll do, I'll outline it in a little dark color. And then we'll go in with like a lighter lip gloss. So let's use, so I'm going to just go in with this dark little thing. This is what I usually line my lips with. And then we're going to go in with Fenty Gloss in the color Sweet Mouth and we're just gonna go over the whole thing. Anyway, so that's the lip, and then we can go ahead and do these lashes. Beauty supply store lashes, nothing special. And I'm gonna come back when they're done. Lashes are on, they're still like kind of looking crazy right now, but these will settle in in a little bit. And then I just wanna do some mascara on my bottom lashes so they're not looking so bare in comparison to the top lashes. Oh wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm way ahead of myself. We still have to do nails. So I do have a couple of nails that we could wear, but I really want it to like match the outfit. So I wanna go for something like green or white or something like that. I have two sets of nails from this other brand. Um, so these are Hunter x Hunter nails anime nails that doesn't really go with the green so I don't think I'll wear those and I also have these black nails black and white nails which are cute but whoa it's getting so dark which are cute but these don't really match either so I think the only set of nails we have are these really basic ones but we do have these for other occasions I do like to match my nails to my outfit because I feel like that's just so cute and press-ons are really easy to you know change 
take on and take off so i'll definitely be using them at a later date just not today so we're gonna go with these regular little kiss nails that's why i have these little backup plans um in case i need it and literally all my life changed when i discovered press on nails and how easy they were the nails are on super simple literally just like little neutral nails they're not even completely white they're kind of see-through um but these are the nails for today and i'm gonna go ahead and put on some cuticle oil because my cuticles look a little messy so we're all done with hair nails makeup like we're literally almost done getting dressed y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and put on the dress the very cute dress and then i'm gonna show y'all how it looks and we'll decide on shoes accessories jewelry and everything and we'll get ready to go all right guys so i have the lulu's dress on and it is so cute i'm very excited for this look so now we can go ahead and figure out what shoes and accessories and jewelry to wear i'm loving the green so i think it would either go with white or clear obviously now i don't have too many white bags but i do have some white shoe options so we do have these two white shoe options options from Lulu's one is a little more dressed up heels and one is a little more casual with the slippers so I'm gonna try on each one and I'm gonna see which one I like most uh, I'm not really feeling the sandals just because I feel like it's too casual these are cute let me see how it looks with the white bag because it'll definitely tie it together okay it's looking cute let me show y'all but this is how it's looking right now and i'm in love i think it's super cute paired with the lulu's heels oh, i think it looks very cute with the ponytail too so this is the look for today i think i want to dress it up a lot with accessories and everything so let's go ahead and get some jewelry on i got my peaches out in georgia i get my weed from california all right y'all so i think this is the look and then i'm definitely feeling hoops for the night because I feel like that'll be just dress it up a lot more so I'm gonna do these custom hoops that have my name on it we're gonna go with nausea amore tonight and these are kind of thick in my ears so they might hurt but beauty is pain sometimes love here are the accessories for right now but we also have rings and bracelets to do so let me go get those and I'll be right back we've got on pretty much every accessory that I could think of at the moment so we have watch rings bracelet necklaces earrings bindi and we have on an anklet so let me go ahead and take this off to give y'all the final look ah, okay okay this is the final look y'all this is how we're going to our date in our lulu's dress and our lulu's heels with my white bag let me show y'all the full thing y'all know how we do boom very sleek i'm in love let me get a thumbnail okay so <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. Let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know if y'all think I should have worn a different dress, all those types of things. But I love how it turned out. I'm feeling very cute right now. I'm feeling very pretty, and I cannot wait to go eat. So thank y'all for watching this video. Thank you to Lulu's again for sponsoring today's video. I'll make sure to leave all the dresses and items down below for y'all to shop as well. But thank y'all again for watching today's video, and stay tuned for the date month. Montage.